Today, we were fishing a duck lure for pond monsters. Not only was the action amazing on the duck lure, but the skippability was next level. I was able to skip this duck lure underneath these trees, and boy, did the big bass bite. Oh, bro. oh right there. Oh, there. Oh, there. That is a nice one, too. Oh, golly. He's a mega. Get him in. Oh, is he on? Get him in. Oh, he's on. We're going to be fishing a duck lure today for pond monsters. I got a couple different ducks. So the first one, let me show you guys this. It is absolutely outrageous. This thing is huge. It has a treble hook with some fur on it in the back. Another treble hook down below its neck. And, uh, and it's got these little feet on the back. So we can show you when we get on the water, but this is gonna like plop kind of like a whopper plopper. That's pretty much what that's doing right there on the back. So the feet are just plopping. It actually looks really good in the water. But the one thing with this bait, this actually weighs three ounces. So one, we gotta be careful with it on our rods because our rods aren't really rated for a three ounce bait. And uh, two, it's just a very large bait. So it's gonna take a very big fish to eat it. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button really helps the channel i'd appreciate it so guys this is the second duck that we have and it's actually pretty much a frog but in duck form so let me show you guys exactly what this looks like it's pretty cool a lot different than this duck a lot smaller profile this one's a soft body so this one's pretty much like a rubber duck equivalent to your bass fishing frog and it's got little duck legs off the back of it and uh, this one just looks spicy we're probably going to start off with this today and try to catch a lot of fish on it and then we're going to end up moving on to the big bad boy and see if we can catch something on it. It's just, this bait is so large. So this is the beautiful pond that we're at today. It's actually already sprinkling. Hopefully we don't get rained on. We got Mr. Fletch, what's, what's going, going on? What's going on, dog? What's going we about on, to get brother? after him with these ducks. Listen, we are about to get after this ducks for palm monsters episode, baby. So Fletcher, this is what we're doing, man. Whoever catches the biggest fish is crowned the champion. Okay. Simple as that, man. I'm, I'm about it. Are you with it? So which duck am I using? Am I using uh, the rubber ducky or am I using the hard ducky so i'll give you an option i'm gonna start off with the rubber if you want to start off with that and just try to go for a freaking tank i want to be opposed to it do you want to try it i'm gonna put uh, like a hard timer on this for me maybe like 30 minutes and if we haven't caught anything with it yet then i'll switch over to the rubber ducky just to get on the board if noah's just smacking them over there all right guys so i actually brought my kicking combo today but sadly i don't have braid on it and i also still have my snake on it if you guys want to go check out that video it's a freaking banger man we uh filmed a snake lure for pond monster so go definitely check that one out after this one Probably not going to use the kicking combo just because it has fluoro. Are you throwing that one? That rod? Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. Shoot. Here you go. I'm stealing your rod over here. My bad. Watch <laughs> over here. Try, uh, trying to get, get the juice, man. We got the rubber ducky. And we're going to be pairing it up with a uh, mock crushed right now but if you guys do want to check out the kicking combo the green ones you can check them out on kickingtheirbass.com i'll link it down below thanks to everybody who supports me and the brand we also have spinning combos in that same one so you guys can go check them out yeah let's go ahead and tie this duck on and uh see what's popping with it we're tying on with a uni knot pretty simple and uh this is what we're gonna go with now you kind of got me worried fletcher because that big one you you do have a good point if we are doing big fish that might be the go you know fletcher's gonna start off with it i'll probably pick it up here later depending on how this puppy's doing who knows we might be catching some giants on this guy <laughs> this thing is looking good well, let's go ahead and get started man and uh see if we can get something on board yeah i think you're gonna throw that thing next to one of these docks out here and get obliterated by a four or five pounder i'm just looking for like a school of ducks that i can just blend in with like maybe there's just like a mamba duck out here and like a little duckling swimming along and i can just throw this thing right behind and you know tune into that natural presentation you're gonna make a bass actually eat a baby duck. Is what's gonna happen? <laughs> It'll be a sad day. I feel like the bass would definitely smoke it. Bass might just think it's his lucky day, you know. I know. <laughs> the one time he'll ever see a duck in a tree. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, I'm getting it up You're there. Up in there. I feel like yeah. got clobbered. There we, there we go. Oh, it's a nice one too. Nice. First duck bass. Is that a boy? Oh, let's go, baby. Let me see that thing. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Just seeing a duck hanging out of his mouth. Look at that. Not a big one, but I mean, that's a good two pounder, man. 
Look at that. <laughs> that Crushed is pretty it. cool. I mean, she took that whole thing down. Yep, just the standard walk, man. That's all that was. That was a pretty good bite for that fish, man. We're gonna we're gonna flop a weight on her since we are doing the tournament. We got the matching scale for the duck video, you know. I'd say two pounds, if that. Let's see what we got. Two pound, two one. Two one, Fletch. That's not bad. Not a bad fish. I'll take that for our first fish of the day. Not a big one, but not a bad one. First fish on the dock in the first like 15, 20 minutes. We cannot complain. That is awesome. Thank you, baby. There she goes. One thing that I'm going to pay attention to is pretty much how I'm working this bait. So I think that's going to come into play. We could definitely pop it pretty slow or we could do the walk very slow. I was just kind of doing this and I would kill it and then pop it some more. So we're going to be paying attention to the retrieve today. I think it can definitely maximize bites if we're paying attention to that. Dude, dangling the duck looks so crazy. I know, the feet kind of go crazy. Yeah, they do. The also, guys, how would you work this duck lure if you were out fishing with it today? I asked that in the snake video and I had some interesting responses. I'd like to know what you guys would think. Ah. At the hole. On the dock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I knocked on his door five times. Hello, are you in there? And doing a left hand skip too. I am not left hand, guys. You want the front so you can uh, skip with your right, right Yeah, hand? it might be a little better. It might be a little bit. Oh my goodness. It's been a minute since I've ran one of these. I'm to get used to it. I like this dang tree. Woo, baby. <laughs> what? Oh, dude. That, that, that thing don't get bit there. I'm not sure. That just looks so saucy. Let's get up under the back. Oh, that was All the way in the back. Dude, the noise that that will make. Oh, man. That slop right there. Golly, it looks so good, guys. It's like we had a fish on, in my opinion, probably the less appetizing bank in this I whole know, pond. That's what I'm saying. And now we're throwing it in some of the juiciest looking stuff. Dude, it looks so good back there. This is one thing, guys. This duck does not go through the grass too well. This head, I know it's still angled up, but it just kind of gets in that grass and on the legs. It's not as good as like the silicone on the frogs as far as going through vegetation. But that shouldn't be too big of a problem. There's not a ton. Oh, oh you got a gator. I got a gator fish. <laughs> I got a gator duck. I got a, got a gator duck. All right, dude. So, uh, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. If I wasn't watching it like head on, he probably would have got it. You probably get hit him on the head. But, like, if you... Oh, definitely. Dude, he is. All right, dude. You got to chill, bro. He's angry, isn't he? Oh, you saw a bass just come up and try to eat that gator. <laughs> All right, you better get away from him. <laughs> Golly, that was ballsy, boy. <laughs> oh, dude, that's that crazy. Dog? Oh, Fletcher, Fletcher. Oh, God. Oh, Fletcher. That so good in there. Oh, he sees it. Their peripheral is crazy. Yeah, like right there, he can see it. Their side angle is insane on them gators. At least we know one thing that these things would catch. <laughs> yeah. Gators like that, don't they? That makes sense for a gator to like. He would totally munch down on a duck, you know. He just saw him cruising. I'm starting to get confused because it's like, yeah, it is weird for a duck to be up in that shade, but look how far I'm getting it in there. You just think, whether he think it's a duck or anything, you know what I mean? He would yeah, smoke well, that. I mean, look at how freaking good that you Throw a bullet weight on that duck? <laughs> <laughs> throw a dang Texas rig duck. But look at that, Fletch. Oh my oh, yeah. God. Dude, I am casting this thing as far as you like, can. You're getting some amazing casts with that. I cannot believe you haven't got clobbered. So the guys, they also make like a brown, it's like a brown duck. That one's like a little more natural. I think we get a lot more bites on the brown one. But for the video, we got to use the legit duck. You know gotta, what I mean? You got to throw the legit duck. The duck is just slipping under trees and oh God. Oh, oh my God. God. 
I mean, dude, come on. You're you're skipping a duck 20 foot in trees that nobody can cast in. I'm telling you, Texas rig duck. Don't underestimate it. I've done some weird things with fishing lures. The best part about fishing is there's no rules to fishing and you can do whatever you want. So if that means Texas rigging a top water duck, I can do that. Y'all probably wondering what in the world is he doing? But when I when I smack a four pounder on this T rig duck, you'll be in awe. I mean, it'd be different if I was just smoking them up in the trees, but I'm putting this thing in places that I can't even describe. I know you guys are watching from this angle. If you could see with your own eyes how juicy this looks, it would just confuse you. It just don't look right. I'm getting this thing in places a bait has never been before. You're getting places a duck's never been before, dude. I'm about to get some places <laughs> a duck has never been. Bottom of the oh my gosh. This thing a freaking whip, boy. Like, how are you not getting just McChickened right there, dude? Literally, <laughs> McChicken. That's what it's gonna be called, Flex. Like, the McChicken. That's why you ain't getting McChicken. You got a dang tree. Look at this T rig duck. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, I think you're actually gonna catch a big one on that. It would not surprise me. Lisa, you know, if one misses me, just let that thing sink. You'll think it's dead, you know? Scuba duck. This is Scuba Steve. We, we fishing with Scuba Steve over here. I got the McChicken, you got Scuba Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Speaking of McChickens, guys, if we should do the McDonald's fast food challenge, let us know we've been thinking about it. Put a dang McNuggie on there, boy. <laughs> Bro, come on, fish. I made way too many good skips to not have a swirl. Let's go, baby. Oh, the one time I'm not focused, bro. When you're talking about tacos, bro, you got my attention, okay? <laughs> that fish heard you talking about Mexican food. He's like, let me come. He's trying to he's trying to get him some chips and queso. He said, let me get a bite. That duck taco. He went bigger than my last one. That fish was smaller. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're going to go hit a different pond because this one just is not it. The amount of amazing casts that we've made does not add up to the bites that we've had. So we will catch y'all at a different pond. All right, guys, new pond, new lake, new day, Fletcher. We about to get after it, son. Listen, man, they didn't like the duck in the other place, but let's hope that this pond is a little different. We went and got some lunch. We're all fueled up. Got me a dang burrito. I got a new life, man. I got yes, a case of in my belly. Just say so. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Feeling like a new man. Oh, that shade feels good. There's bigger fish in this place. The other place had some big ones, but this is more consistent big fish. So I think we're gonna end up crushing it in here. We got Scuba Steve rigged and ready to go still, and I am not giving up on the underwater duck. I know some of y'all think it's out there and it's a far-fetched idea, but I'm here to tell you, I'm gonna catch a fish with Scuba Sea today. Do you believe in me, Noah? I believe in you. All right. I think it will happen. The good news is this pond in particular has some really good offshore structure. So I think if we throw Scuba Steve on the offshore structure, he's gonna get crushed. It's just a matter of fact. Ducky doo, ducky doo, da, ducky doo. Duck, 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 goose. <laughs> oh, I got thumped. Dude, shut up. I swear. <laughs> I got thumped. Like, actually? Yeah, like, yeah, it's... it was just like a, a little, a little pack, but. Come on, big fish. There you go. Yeah, it's a monster, too. There you go. Yes, oh, sir. Did you see me slow it down? Yeah. That might be the go, bro. All right. Dude, that long. is a nice one, too. That's like a good three pounder, it looks like. Let's go, baby, on the duck. Look at that chicken. West. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Got the Look at that. Yes, sir. You got that McNugget. Okay, this is definitely a weighable one. Do you have pliers, sir? Uh, yes, you do. Actually, I might be good. Thank you, though. Last one was fairly quick, but it just kind of tapered off. We came out to this place and what, 10 minutes in, if that? All we needed was a burrito, quesadilla, and some chips <laughs> and queso. 
we're back in business, baby. Here we go, new leader, Fletch. Two pounds, nine ounces. Not bad. Little over two and a half. We will take them. Not quite three. His body's not filled out enough, but I will take that dang fish, man. Beautiful one. Pretty markings. I don't really know what's going on with his back right there. Looks like he's been cut, but thank you for biting, baby. Let's try to get us another, and uh, we were working it pretty slow. Thank you, buddy. Wow. Amazing, awesome bite. I kind of spoke that into existence too. I was like, come on, big fish, and then instantly. There we go, boys. Second fish on the hollow body duck. Pretty much two and a half fish, because that one, I had them all the way to the boat. He dang came off. Ended up catching them right in that shade line under the trees, right where we would think they are. And uh, that's a great sign, Fletcher, yeah. because we actually came out to this pond or lake the other day, and uh, they weren't really in the trees, man. Where were they, Fletcher? They were offshore on the on the brush and stuff. We had a, a little bit of luck under the trees, but not what, you, not what you think. And the fact that we came right out the gate and stuck one, or you stuck one that that that's good news i feel like good things are to come the water is a little murkier in here guys and i think that slower approach like kind of the pop pop still with the walk but just kind of keep it a little slower that might produce the bites because that was the one time i wasn't working it too fast it might just be a little more lethargic today so let's keep it going boys i think we're gonna end up doing pretty good under these trees Oh, looks so good too. Oh, dude, I am like speaking it into dang existence. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, you got a nasty knot up. Oh there. no, don't tell me it ain't so. What is going on, dude? You know, you know what sucks? He would have bit that dang thing. McChicken, man. Oh gosh. You just got McDuckled. I just got McDucked. That was fun while it lasted. Now I gotta cut a lot of braid off this reel, which is sucks because I've been beaming, straight beaming today. You got the, the mix scissors? The mix snippers are back there. You're gonna go away from that precious fish? He's just waiting to be caught, dude. Sadly, did not hook him. I bet if I could have thrown in there right away instead of it knotting up, I probably could have gotten a bite again because I didn't hook him at all. But sometimes things happen and uh, it's all good. We're gonna tie back up and get rolling time to get in there scuba steve do your worst do your worst chasing bait right there oh shoot Dude, oh shut oh up. <laughs> yeah something nipped it Dude, your whole rod tip like i saw that all right scuba steve your time might be up my friend we put this duck in some unusual places at least we can say we tried Ain't that right, Steve? Okay, let's go ahead and retie the sucker. No bullet weight this time. He went from scuba Steve to just regular Steve. Not as cool, but he can get the job done. Yeah, be ducking me. What? It broke off, watch. Snapped off? Yeah, it actually snapped off. I was like, why is it not moving? Look at that, not even my knot. Look, my whole knot's there in the loop that I was tied onto there. I was just getting comfortable with that. Dang thing. It might have just slipped out. Hold on. Yeah, it definitely just slipped. I don't think I've had that happen, honestly, ever. That would have been the time that, like, I noticed it came off and then, you know what I mean? Straight five pounder just launches it. It could have been worse. At least we got it back. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Ow. Gosh, dang it. Golly, dude, I'm gonna have a bruise from a freaking duck. All right, we're back in business, boys. Oh, let's catch a freaking giant. There's a big and oh my God. Dude, straight mega. Oh that bite sounded ridiculous. Dude, half of the fish's body is like ripped in half. Look at this body, bro. With oh, a bass body? Yeah, he's got something wrong with him. Oh my gosh, yeah. Look at that. Did something just bite him? I don't know, gator maybe? Dude, definitely. That is a mega though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. That is gnarly. That's pretty gnarly. Poor guy. He, that didn't make him hesitate to eat that dang duck though. <laughs> Props to this bass man for still pushing, even though he's injured. Straight up mega skip turned into a kerplunk. Did you hear that yeah, dude? Just... Straight up 
Ker plunk in the rain out here. That ain't stopping us. Looks like a close to a four pounder. We're gonna get a weight on this. And then I feel like Fletcher's gonna end up cracking one. Let's get a weight on this puppy. 312. Ooh, not bad. 312, that's the new leader, boys. Almost a four pounder, three and three quarters. Beauty. Other than that spot, I'm sorry about that, baby. I hate that. Your back's all ripped up. She's a strong fish, you got it. Let's go, dude. Holy cow. Oh, dude, she bent the heck out of my hook. Look at that, dude. Yeah, she did get that thing. Oh, what a bite. There we go, boys. Finally got a pretty big one. When all you hear is kerplunk and you don't even see it, often you know you got a big girl on. We're keeping this bait pretty slow. So I think the hard pops is what's attracting these big girls out of the trees. <laughs> that would be the nastiest bite. There we go. You got one. You got one. Pull him out of that tree. Come on. We on the board. There we go, Steve. My boy. There we go. Ow. You okay? Yeah. Golly. They have been sharp, haven't they? I God, know. yeah. He got some freaking paper shredders on them, <laughs> on them crushers. Oh, there we go. Okay. Relax. Do not flop on me. Put her on the scale here, guys. We're definitely not going to beat four with it, but, you know, we're just going to get a baseline for us here today. Well, would have had a baseline. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> All right, Steve. Oh, that's funny. You're gonna have to catch us another one. That was a sweet bite though, wasn't it? Yeah, right up there in that tree. Oh, that's cool. At least you're on board, man. On that fish board. wasn't gonna beat the, the one anyways. Oh my gosh. I wanna see a ridiculous eat. We've had some great bites today. Don't get me wrong, guys. But I just wanna see one that's like absurd. Like making a scream. Remember the turtle bite? This fish literally missed my bait. I hooked set. He followed all the way back to the boat. I slapped it like this in the water and he just went. <laughs> <laughs> he just went dude, you it. can't make that up. That was just. That, was, that guy was, he was pissed off, dude. So we haven't really talked about this, you know. I mean, another main concept is just skipping this uh, duck around and that's pretty much what we've been doing. But to pretty much give you an idea, you know, it was cloudy earlier and the sun ended up coming out, pushing these fish under the trees. Now it's kind of like a hybrid, a little bit of cloudy, a little bit of sunny. Well, that rainstorm just came through. So our whole idea on skipping these trees were, hey, it got sunny you know these fish were mainly out deep once the sun got up for you know an hour or two those fish ended up moving up under this cover and now we've been having a pretty good day at the start of the first pond you guys could tell you know it was cloudy out sun wasn't really out for a while and those fish just weren't under the trees so it's just to show you know what conditions and how conditions can change your day and determine where the fish are located He's a mega. Get him in. Oh, boy. is he on? Get him in. Oh, boy. he's on. Oh my gosh. How did you snap? I don't know. Right I don't he's know. Mega, I must have stepped on it or something. Oh, you definitely <laughs> stepped on it to snap it. There. I have never in my gosh. life. Gosh. I've, I've used seven dang brands of rods. I've ever seen a rod snap right there. That, that is. is I've <laughs> I've had to have stepped on that because we step on the sides of these boats a lot yeah. when the rods are in there. But um, yeah, we got one. We got one. All right. That's 100%. Like a rod just does not snap on his backbone. <laughs> It's just not something that happens. But uh, yeah, we got fish, guys. Um, we might have lost our rod in the process, but uh, we do have another rod on board that has fluorocarbon. So it looks like we might be throwing the, <laughs> the big dock now. But uh, yeah, let's get let's get weight on her. Let's get weight on her. Don't do that to me again. You're gonna lose him again. What was I got? That? I got the weight. I got the weight. What, what was it? Two thirteen. <laughs> okay. You're a mess right now. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm here. Today to has been your day, hasn't it? It's been my day. I'm just here to get you content, man. <laughs> that's what, that's what I'm here for. Whenever I explode a rod, it's always on your channel, not mine. I rarely do it too. Like I've had two break over the last like year. You know what I mean? It happens yeah. once a year, maybe twice. All right, guys, we're back in action. Now we got the, the kicking set up here. Kickingtheirbass.com, baby. Come yep, on. you know it. Check it out. Link in the description. Better smash that that link smash that link boy but outside of that we got our big old three ounce duckaroo here <laughs> almost ideal way to end that combo's life but <laughs> yeah. happened to explode oh there it is. 
Oh, I couldn't catch up to her, bro. No, that was a four pounder, every freaking ounce of it. Now that fish destroyed it, bro. Oh, that was an absolute obliteration. Son of a biscuit, dude. That was one for the tube right there. Skipped them all the way up in the tree. Give me another obliteration bite. You know, that's the first one that kind of ate it out coming out of the... Oh, oh my gosh! That sounded <laughs> crazy. Oh, he bent it out. Yeah, bad. Wow, that sucks, dude. Yeah. I'm disappointed in that. Dang, anyways, my frog's just walking about having a good day you know <laughs> yeah, just... and all of a sudden it wasn't like a bass went like this and then ate it right he went <laughs> like like dude this fish probably swam 20 foot to get to this thing <laughs> that's probably why i missed those two fish bro maybe my hook was bent before that last one i don't know what these fish are on on this bank between that one snapping fletcher's rod like they're just <laughs> yeah. they're taking some steroids or something bro yeah, golly, man. they are jacked we're just getting taken advantage of right now, man. We're getting beat up. Oh. Bro! Holy <laughs> Dude, what in the world? That's a big one too, man. I don't know if he's as big as that big one I got, but... I mean, they are just... Eating. That was so a shark good. bite. <laughs> that is insane, boys. These bites have been ridiculous. I'm not gonna weigh him. He's definitely over three, but I don't think he's gonna hit it. He's just bleeding slightly. But um, beautiful bass. Thank you for biting, baby. Wow, what a blow up. The bites have totally changed from like them just coming up and eating it regular, just kind of sucking it down to just like <laughs> the type of blow-ups you definitely want to see what a day of fishing has it been guys went from not being able to get a bite in a tree the fish turning into straight sharks they're hitting it so hard and running off with it that like i can't even catch up with the fish i don't know if you're noticing i'm having a hard time that's Hell why i yeah. lost those last two they're taking it off like a dang predator missile dude <laughs> what is going on maybe the duck's actually the sauce dude just like straight up sauce Oh, you're way back there, dude. There's no kidding. There's going to be a war. Oh, oh right there. Oh, my oh, gosh. Right there. Fletcher. Right there next to the boat on the oh, big duck. No, it came off. Oh, my God. My head was already, like, turned and looking towards the next spot. I was like, I didn't even see him bite it. <laughs> Crazy as we were just talking about it, like, two minutes prior about one following it out. <laughs> what in the world? And, he, and that was honestly one of the smaller fish we've hooked today. Yeah. It was pretty thin. Well, the thing is, that fish could have been four pounds, but he had zero Whip. thickness to him yeah. yeah no wonder he wanted to eat a duck <laughs> he wanted to get his weight up we're skipping off sitting down is kind of underrated oh man i'm freaking gliding on this water <laughs> that's why i want to make up new mix one day and send it to you you're gonna be like oh i smacked the gopro <laughs> <laughs> oh she good one? <laughs> yeah she is i was laughing because a lot of things yeah. <laughs> you and fletcher were cracking up about something that probably not pg-13 well look at that dang duck boys that's a nice one bro i ain't even weighing him because i know he's not as big as that one but i mean it's still a good that's what three and a quarter yeah. She thick. Sounded kind of hollow. I know. Beautiful fish, though. Thank you, baby. That was an awesome bite.